So this question starts off by providing us with this system of equations here. We have an f of x and a g of x. Keep in mind that both f of x and g of x represent y, right? So I could rewrite that as y equals. But let's keep reading it and see if there's a greater distinction between the two things. Um, the question goes on to say functions f and g are given. In function f, b is a constant, all right? I hadn't noticed that, b, so b is a constant. If f of x times g of x equals 9x to the fourth minus 26x cubed minus 3x squared, what is the value of b? All right, so the question is literally telling us exactly how to set up our equation in order to solve for b. It's saying that we have to multiply the two functions together. So I'm going to do that. f of x is x squared plus bx. g of x is 9 x squared minus 27x. So that's my f of x times g of x. And the question tells me that that should equal 9x to the fourth minus 26x to the third minus 3x squared. So let's go ahead and simplify this now. So to simplify, I'm going to FOIL first times first thing here, x squared times x, I'm sorry, x squared times 9x squared would be 9 x to the fourth power, and then the outer terms, x squared times negative 27x would be a negative 27x to the third power. Then the inner terms, bx times 9x squared would be a positive 9bx to the third, which I believe is all we're going to need here. Um, I'll continue it, but really this is all that we're going to need. And then last, bx times negative 27x is a minus 27bx squared. All right. All right, so I'm glad I did that because honestly, I'd rather use this term. So what am I saying? I'm saying if I know that the middle term here, the x cubed term, has to be negative 26x cubed, then that means that my middle term here, that includes x cubed, must also be negative 26x cubed which means I could write negative 27x cubed plus 9bx cubed must equal negative 26x cubed. And I can use that understanding <clears throat> in order to solve for b by adding 27x cubed to both sides of the equation. That's now canceled out on the left-hand side, leaving me with 9bx cubed is equal to Negative 26 plus 27 is just 1, so that becomes x cubed. Now, if 9bx cubed, oh, I can go further, divide by x cubed on both sides, so that's gone, this becomes 1. We have 9b equals 1, divide by 9, divide by 9, and b is equal to 1 ninth, right? So choice c is the correct answer. Alternatively, we could have said, well, if I have a negative 3x squared here, as in my last term, but I have a negative 27bx squared here as my last term, I can set those two things equal to each other, right? And I think it would have taken a little less time. Negative 3x squared is equal to negative 27bx squared. We divide both sides by negative 3x squared, actually. So the left side is 1, and this is going to equal 9b, and you can see we get there a bit faster than the previous option. So one ninth equals B. So there's our answer, choice C. At the end of the day, the question told us exactly what to do. And your only job was to simplify this, right? To simplify all of this using FOIL. And then we matched, right? So this is like a simplify plus match strategy. And this does, that strategy does show up on this test quite a bit.